that having uh, live demos is always risky, but I thought I would I would find, oh no, like this here. Okay, that's good, thank you very much. <laughs> My name is Jordi Torres, I am from Barcelona. Um, if you ever go there, you will see that 50% of males are called Jordi, so it's not, it's not an, an exotic name at all. So what it meant to us is natural language processing for customer support. This is our, um, basically our speciality. So we are a B2B company. So the ones who pay us and our payrolls are our dear customers. And they pay us because they, we save them hundreds of thousands of emails just by using a self-service application. I'm gonna show you here a live demo, an example of one of our customers. This is uh, Ticketmaster. They are our customers, not only in the US, but worldwide. They are using Inventa in 27 different uh, countries. And uh, if you go to Ticketmaster, you will see this little option here that says help. That means that you have a question, you have a problem, whatever issue that you might have with uh, Ticketmaster, you would click here on the help section. And that website here, what you can see now, here is powered by Inventa. So basically what you are requested to do is ask a question. So before you send an email, before you call, you will try to find an answer for yourself. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna try an example here. Um, I have a wheelchair. So that's, that's my question here. And this is the answers that we are pulling. So if you see the, the answer, the question was I have a wheelchair, and the answer is accessible settings. So if you see there are no common keywords, so it's not like a search engine that would search for keywords. We search by meaning. We try to understand the meaning of user questions. We know the meaning of all these FAQs, and we try to, to pull to the customer those FAQs that are more relevant. The magic about that is our customers don't have to do anything. Just write their FAQs using their own words. It's our responsibility, it's our technology that creates the link. We have many <coughs> competitors, but they will take months before they have something like that up and running. We go live in 24 hours. We index the existing FAQs, and that's it. All these different <coughs> questions will be understood. Now let's imagine that I'm not satisfying with this question. I want to <coughs> move on in customer support. I want to send an email to Ticketmaster. So I will see this form where I will put my um, email address, my name, and at some point I have to here um, explain my problem. So I'm gonna type an, an example here. It's gonna be like, I am still waiting for <coughs> my tickets. So the, what the system does is not only search and bring results, we analyze in real time what customers are typing into their emails. We know that search engines have been so bad for decades now that many users have no hope that search is gonna work. So they enter very lousy, very uh, few words in the search engine. But when it comes to actually write an email, then they actually type their problem using their own words. And this is when the natural language comes in. We analyze in real time what actual users are typing, and we, again, we bring solutions. So take a look to this. I'm still waiting for my tickets, and the answer is tickets not received. So even if, if I'm waiting for my tickets, it's because I haven't received them, right? So that sort of relationship is, again, built in into the system. We don't need our customers to create like tags or add additional keywords. They just concentrate on the content, and we make sure that the search will, will work. This is our dashboard. Every customer of us has access to this uh, statistic package. So what they can see is like out of 100,000 questions, 94% were searching, and out of them, 98% found a result. This darker blue area is the contact us page, which is basically where users that want to type an, an email, they will go to that area, but it's still uh, pretty much 40% of this, these emails were deflected just because these um, FAQs were shown. So it's not, we are not preventing them from sending emails. We love that you send emails. It's just that we don't want them to send an email that is unnecessary because it's basically answered in, in, in the existing FAQs. 
Uh, this is our website that we'd like to show you here, what we call Victoria. It's our virtual assistant, it has this avatar. So I'm gonna type a question here like, hi Victoria. She will answer my question in natural language. So again, what you can see here is based on FAQ, it's very simple. So our customers say um, any question and Victoria will answer to that question based on an existing FAQ. So uh, now I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, yes, I ask Price and she said, are you asking for a quote? And then she's offered me the, the, the answer, right? Now I'm gonna say, I, I imagine that I'd say my answer was not helpful. So I have this question here and I say, I wish uh, I could have been more helpful. And um, do you want to chat with, a, with, a, with an agent, with a specialist? So I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna put my name here. Uh, she's now asking by um, my email address. I'm gonna put something like that. And now the system will actually move from the online virtual chat to an actual chat. It's gonna be an actual agent who will, who will answer. So I can see here, someone called Julie Casson has joined the conversation. Um, hi, but I'm, you know, I'm kind of suspicious, guys. So I'm gonna ask, are you human? Because you know, all these virtual stuff there, you never know, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask. So let's see if Julie is asking me. So I think so, okay. <laughs> can, you, can you prove it? <laughs> because I, I'm not convinced about that. So let's see how, what, what can, can we get here. So now, maybe he's a robot actually, we never know. Sure, I am here, she's here, over there, helping me <laughs> with all this chat. So that's, that's the kind of hybrid conversation where an agent takes over an existing conversation if the virtual as, uh, assistant is, uh, sorry, I'm leaving the chat, okay? No, no problem with that, so uh, Victoria will be back here and uh, ready to answer my, my, my questions. And I can answer your questions now if you want. All right, thank you, Jordy.